All right, guys, just uh, doing a quick update. Going to do a few new videos on the Geyser Connect that uh, we host. Uh, what the Geyser Connect server is, it's a proxy server. What you do is you connect from your Bedrock client. You can actually connect from Windows 10, as you see in my videos, because that's the easiest thing to record with. Windows 10, your phone, or um, tablet device. You can also, believe it or not, use this directly with Xbox and Switch. We do have the um, DNS trick set up so that you can connect directly from those two. And you can use it with PS4 if you use a what's known as a connector app. I'm not going to cover the consoles in this video. I'm just going to go over Win 10 and mobile. Um, Many of you guys may already be familiar with this, uh, connecting to geyserconnect.gq. That is us. We have actually decided to change our domain name from geyserconnect.gq to geyserconnect.net. The reason behind this is geyserconnect.gq is a free domain, and the registrar uh, a registrar is a entity that is responsible for registering domain names. The registrar that GeyserConnect.gq is handled by has been getting some really bad reviews, basically blackmailing the domain owners um, of high traffic domains, which GeyserConnect is, believe it or not because we have over 50,000 unique users. And basically they'll hold the domain hostage and force the owner to pay to get their domain back. And since we have no interest in wanting any part of that, especially since some of the reviews point out that one thing they'll do with these domains is redirect them to unsavory websites. So we definitely do not want that considering what we are, our ties with the Minecraft community. We don't want any part of that. So we have switched domains to a reputable registrar and it's a paid registrar. And we do not expect to have any such issue with them. Now we are maintaining the old domain until it expires simply because it's going to take a while for people to become aware of the new domain. So, but once the old domain does expire, everybody will be forced to switch to the new domain. But anyway, setting it up is very simple. You open up your game on your Windows 10 device or your mobile device. You're presented with the screen here, as you can see, I'm running at the time of this recording the latest version of 116T20. You'll go to play, you'll go over to servers, and you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and click add a server and you'll enter the information here. Or if you are updating, you may already have it in your additional servers list, you'll select edit. Anyway, it's Geyser Connect and we're not going to be using geyserconnect.gq anymore it is now geyserconnect.net the port number is the default of 19132 click save now one thing i'm noticing is it does not always ping right here i don't know why that is it just is don't worry that doesn't mean a server is not unreachable just hit join and as you can see it will connect anyways and welcome to the Public Geyser Connect. The server restarts every, every 72 hours at 0600 hours UTC. All you gotta do is Google what is 0600 UTC in my local time zone and it'll tell you what time that is. That's actually midnight in the server's time zone. Uh, we, do, we do the restarts to keep this um, server fresh because 
eventually it will run out of memory and just soft crash. Um, what I mean by soft crash is a little different from a hard crash. A hard crash is where the server just shuts down altogether and stops functioning. What I mean by a soft crash is the server will continue to be running and will continue to be running. People who are already connected will not notice, but it will stop new users from joining and sometimes will create issues where it might kick a player off here or there because it's running out of memory. So we had that off at the pass by having a set time at a set interval that it restarts so everybody knows, hey, this time frame, the server will, will be restarting. Um, we have a Discord, discord.geyserconnect.net. You can join there for more detailed updates. Uh, also, we have a status tracker on our Discord. Let me bring that up right here. And as you can see right here, status for geyserconnect.gq. I need to update that. Um, if this ever shows server is unreachable, we actually have given permission for that one particular situation. If the status ever shows unreachable, ping us so we can get that fixed. We do not want this server to ha experience any unnecessary downtime. So jump on this, tell us, hey, Server is not server is showing as unreachable. We'll fix it ASAP. Um, be careful on big Java servers, especially on Hypixel. The thing is, there. The thing is, Bedrock movement is different from Java's, and we cannot accommodate all the differences. We can't compensate for all the differences. I should say and really, really super strict anti-cheats such as, uh, I forget what it's called, Watchdog, I think, on Hypixel, will pick up even the slightest misstep and kick you from the server. So be very, very careful out there, guys. Some server admins, if you tell them, hey, I'm using this to play from Bedrock, they'll be, they might be understanding. Some, such as Hypixel, might be like, heh, screw you. So. Be wary out there, guys. Be careful on that. Now, what you what you do is you can either direct connect. This is good for single time use. It's like, hey, your buddy's like, hey, come join me on my server real quick. He'll put in his address here. Um, there's a good chance the port's going to be the standard. If it's your buddy's server, he might have an offline mode for you to help you out. I don't know. But um, if you connect an offline mode, the server will tell you the server is running an online mode, which, at which point you come back and you select online mode. And then you hit submit, it'll connect you to the server, and you'll either enter your credentials or not. Now, a cool thing is if you are connecting to an offline mode server, you can use online mode in the Geyser Connect. Enter a username that you want to use on the server, but leave the password filled blank under Mojang account. So you'd select Mojang account, enter your custom username that you want to use, leave the password filled blank, and then hit submit. And then you'll be on the server under your custom username. Now, as you see here, I've got a custom servers list. Um, to add a server to this list, you'll come down to Edit Servers. And uh, let me just delete this real quick. Remove, remove, okay. And you'll add a server. So you'll enter, this is my server right here. If you get an address like this, like java.creeper88.net, it's just a nice clean address string like that or an IP string that ends, you know, whatever. This is all you got to do and you're done with it. And well, let me remove that. 
as you can see, now that's there. Now, if you get, say, an address that's like this, see how it has a colon and a string of numbers on the end? That colon and that string of numbers, that is actually the port. So what you do with that is you remove it, all of that from the IP, and then you come down to the port, you leave the colon off, and then you just add those numbers down here. And this is actually a bedrock server in this case. And boom, there you go. And as you see, when you look at it here, it shows it as a colon dot, as a colon in those port numbers at the end there. You'll go back, because as you see here, if you look at the top, it says edit servers. This is the edit list. So you have to go back to actually join a server. Here you go, custom servers. And then you just select a server to join. I'm going to go ahead and join this one since it's a bedrock server. Or it's a geyser server, not a bedrock server. There we go. This is my dark worlds, my outlaw server. It's basically an anarchy like server. You got to be a little careful with it because the anti cheat's a little sensitive, but the anti cheat does know that you're a bedrock player. This is a Java server that is natively cross play compatible. It's also on the geyser servers list. I'm just using it as an example here. And I'm dead. <laughs> there we go. And that's how you use this on Win 10 and your mobile.